Here we are at the beautiful Pan Pacific Hotel in downtown Seattle. They have locations all over the world, but tonight the most important is right here in Seattle, Washington, because tonight, for the fourth year in a row, they are hosting the closing night of the Seattle International Film Festival. And if you didn't know, the Seattle International Film Festival is the country's largest, best attended, over 250 feature films, over 400 movies altogether, guests from around the world, movies from around the world, and we are going to meet all the filmmakers and all the attendees this evening. I am so excited to be here at the Pan Pacific, and I know you are as well. And we are here to celebrate filmmakers like yourself. Welcome, Ellie Camaro. Thank you, Warren. Director of A Lot Like You and Tom Kenny, producer of A Lot Like You. Are you having a great time so far? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's been amazing. <laughs> amazing. Um, we had our first screening at the beginning of the festival, and our second screening was today. So we spanned the entire three weeks. Um, and it's they've been keeping us busy with parties and networking, and it's been incredible. I, I grew up here, so... Um, I'm, I, I always wanted to have a film here. I've, I've attended a lot of the previous festivals, um, the closing night parties, the opening night parties, but I always had to pay my 100 bucks or whatever, and you know I could never afford the full film pass, um, but I tried to go to as many screenings as I could. So it's great to like actually be here and have a film here. Um, both of our screenings were packed. They were completely packed. Um, they had to turn people away at the door. Well, watching the movie, it's impossible not to fall in love with you. I mean, you're absolutely fantastic. A scene, a scene that I love is, uh, I believe you and uh, uh, you go down to the beach, right? And, and, and you're still writing at the beach. You, anywhere you go, you're writing. Yeah. <laughs> so have you been writing while you're out here in Seattle? Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> Yeah, so what I do is, when I watch a documentary, I try to tell myself, is this one that I can make a new piece out of? Mm -hmm. So, yes, I have three new pieces in the works because I've, I've been feeling really inspired while I was here. And actually, this is a very timely thing, which is why I think the role of the editor, you know, it's very unusual for me to come out of my darkened room and talk to people about filmmaking. And I've got lots to say, but it's like, actually, in a drama, you can't really tell what I've done. And actually, I don't, you know, lots of people don't want me to tell you what I've done because it's covering up things that didn't work or, you know, performances that could have been improved. And I'm very proud to be a sort of in, in the back room about this. But the truth is, this kind of film highlights the fact that all of us are filming more. We've got mobile cameras and we've got technology available. All of us have got technology available to make little films. Here we are, closing night of the Seattle International Film Festival. It's the fourth year in a row. We've closed out at the Pan Pacific Hotel in downtown Seattle. Gorgeous evening, fantastic guests, stars everywhere. Wonderful evening because tonight they closed out with Life in a Day, a truly life-affirming, life-changing uh, flick about what happens when you ask everybody on YouTube to contribute footage from their experience over the course of 24 hours. They put it all together. Joe Walker cut it. We heard from him. He worked with Ridley Scott and Kevin McDonald, the award-winning filmmakers, and they made this movie that proved the most important lesson, which is no matter where you go, you are the star. Always true here at the Seattle International Film Festival, certainly true at the Pan Pacific Hotel. Thank you so much for being our guest. Wonderful festival. Join us in year five for the closing night party here at the Pan Pacific Hotel.